Oh, Here yeah. we go! Oh, yeah. Come on, motherfuckers! What's up everyone, welcome back to another SMG4 Fury Reaction guys, and no, no has uploaded two of them that we're going to be doing a double reaction of them, like a double reaction of cuss. Today, we're going to watch SMG4 Waffy 2023 TV Fury, and after that, we're going to watch the Mean Games Fury as well, for 2023. Now, after we watched the newest Waffy 2023 yesterday, I'm really surprised at how we've been going so well and helped us for get SMG 3's notebook back. But hey, at least Mario got what he deserved, especially Maldi. But that ending foe, holy crap! Like, we're gonna see it right now. Hey, oh. no, no, and you see it right here. Where to even start? I guess I'll begin by pointing out that I think I was wrong in suggesting this would be the last major video of the year. Sure, what the 2021 didn't conclude the cosmology law which was left until 2022 to be resolved, but yeah. there was a sense of closure and finality with 2021 since there was no... Don't give me started of the jealous off y'all, but please one. don't. I highly doubt we are going to have to wait until next year to find out what the deal is with our recently revealed TV entity pretty much because this just feels like too large of a cliffhanger to leave us on. It would be really frustrating if we did have to wait until next year, and I'm sure the SMG-14 knows this and so hopefully that wouldn't be the case. True. Now I know some of you may say that since the TV entity stuff will almost certainly have to end with a movie, as to have the greatest cinematic ending possible, it seems unlikely that SMG-14 could make that happen with such little of the year left. Try a tub a little, baby, because, because there's cars and trucks just going through. making a movie with this Watfi, but let's not forget, no one saw Western Spaghetti coming, since we've never had more than one movie come out within a single Yeah, since one shot win! Everything they've said about the upcoming events on the channel have been about this year specifically. This is supposed to be the most ambitious year for SMG4 yet, and sure it already probably is, but one last movie would certainly cement this as fact. Another reason what why we probably expect one last major episode before the year ends is because there is another loose thread at the end of the what food besides the obvious, that being Mario and Marty being locked up in prison. Sure, they can just reset everything at the start of next week's episode. But of course. I'm pretty sure Mario and Marty will be out of jail until the next week's, the next week's episode. More and especially SMG3 by next week out of nowhere, considering what happened in this war feed. Me. True. I think this could be setting up a mini arc of episodes leading up to a possible next movie. Or at the very least, hopefully we'll get some aftermath episode where Mario and Marty escape prison and reconcile with the SMGs. Oh, I would like Otherwise, to see that happen. that Marty would be brought to life. His inclusion with Mario in prison makes me think that he still has a large role to play, and so he could still be. Like I said, I know we didn't see Marty come to life yet, but let's hope soon, one day or later on, we will see him come to life, especially him as well. For no reason by the SMG 14, we've seen seemingly unimportant plot points become significant later before, so this is not a stretch. Plus, as I previously stated, I think it'd be a wasted opportunity not to bring Marty and Louis to life. And I think we all know who may make that happen if I'm right. Okay, so on to the ending. The TV entity's true form was revealed to us. And, and, I, know, and I wonder who's going to force him, by the way. This reveal finally gives us concrete clues towards what he is and what his motivations are. I'm going to call him Puzzle Vision for now, but I'll cover that a bit later. First of all, Puzzle Vision appears to be one single being, not an organization, and he is an individual, not some abstract concept such as being a representation of dark emotions, nor is he some flawless program or something of the like. 
whether he is a living person or an artificial intelligence of some kind is not clear at the moment, however. Secondly, my theory that Puzzle Vision wants to put on shows intended to be entertaining appears to be true, considering this line he says here. The three main events this year which were caused by him have clearly been intended to be these grand, entertaining shows, though whether this was all just for his own entertainment, or for someone or something else. Is still not <laughs> clear. We also know that the showgrounds is linked to and possibly created by Puzzle Vision. Aside from its obvious circus slash show theme, the most notable thing about it in relation to Puzzle Vision is the question of why he gave it to SMG4. Perhaps he has some future plans for it, maybe even pertaining to his fourth show that yep. he intends to put Can we see that happen? Underneath the screen on his face is what looks to be a company logo for a Oh! Since we still do not They're know what nice his name is yet, I've decided to use this Thanks man, appreciate it. For now. I have a feeling that this could very well be his name or that his name could be related to this brand name. Perhaps with it being derived from the words of Puzzle of Vision. Or maybe hmm. his name could be related to the word show or something related to shows, considering how important this word is to his character as well. Furthermore, this brand name gives us sort of a second theme to the TV entity besides the show theme and symbolism surrounding his acts and design, that being a puzzle theme, which can also be seen elsewhere on his design with his trousers. My best guess is that this represents how his entire plot throughout this year is one big mystery that needs to be put together by us and the SMG4 crew in universe using the puzzle pieces he has sprinkled throughout the year in his several plots. As for what the Puzzle Vision brand slash company may be, my best guess is either that this is his name as I theorized earlier, or that this company created him, or that he owns this company, or even all three of these possibilities are true. Overall, Maybe. despite this being the most amount of information we've gotten about Puzzle Vision thus far, this is basically all the theories that I can create from what we saw in Morphe. There is still a ton of mystery surrounding this guy, which I love because it gives us plenty to look forward to, hopefully later this year. The last thing I want to mention before ending this video is that I think we can be sure for certain that the secret room behind the boarded up door in the castle is definitely linked to Puzzle Vision so I think that's probably going to be happening in Pity until next year, baby, I'm not sure. Resolved. And since it had nothing to do with Marty, we can probably infer it has something to do with Puzzle Vision. As to what its exact connection here may be, I'm not sure, but I think it's more likely that it contains a clue to where he is located, rather than being where he literally is located, as some people seem to believe. Though I suppose I could see it also being some passage leading to where he is located, but I think the idea that he is literally located in that exact room behind the door is a bit far-fetched. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye. Ah, oh, man, thank you, man. Man, there are can't really see that happening. Oh, come so on. much when we can all be together, especially Such when we can do Such a stupid ass up. Uh, nope. Stupid ad. Alright, so, anyway, before we get to the Meme Games 2023 theory, I know we have finished Waffy 2023, but for like, um, um, since the TV, oh, where is Peel? Since he got his first appeal, not surprising. <laughs> I really want to see more of him. Like, I really want to see more of him. More of him. I really want to see more of him, guys. I wish the best that luck if, if it freaking happen. Yeah, still. But hopefully we will get a chance. So, like, love this year. Maybe until December or whatever. So... Until Christmas. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, let's see how it turns out, shall we? Alright. I'm still not surprised that we did not even get a single announcement of the meme games this year because I remember Mario was saying he's gonna do it again this year. But I pretty much sure it may not happen because a lot of shenanigans happened. So, I don't know, but let's see what Nono -No has to say after this. Hey, all. No, not here. I want to briefly cover a theory that I only came up with after uploading my last theory video about what fee 2023. I put this in the description of the video, but I thought it warranted its own video. So anyone who's been watching my videos this year will know that the mystery of the whereabouts of Meme Games 2023 has been bugging me to no end. 
last year, yeah. SMG floor uploaded a neat special video called The Meme Games, which followed a somewhat similar format to what with which involving a bunch of party challenges organized by Mario in the first half of the video before an original song played in the latter half. Not only was it an important episode in the SMG4 series continuity as it concluded the Seiko and Keizo mini story Arkham gave Seiko an updated model, but it also promised to become a yearly series like what we, as we could infer from its name and by this line set by Mario where he asked the viewers to let him know if they want to see it again. And considering the incredible amount of views it garnered, I thought it would be returning in <laughs> 2023 as set in stone. Yet a year after it released, rolled past with no announcement of Meme Games 2023. And then eventually we got the announcement of What Fee 2023, yeah. which surprised me quite a bit, as Meme Games 2022 came out before that year's What Fee. In the lead up to What Fee, I was rather disappointed as it appeared we really wouldn't be getting a sequel to an episode I thought was really great, but after thinking about the ending of this year's what I think there may be room for meme games to come out later this year. Baby! In my last video, I said that I believed a third movie would likely release later this year, but if meme games releases I think I hope, this could be the major video of the year instead, rather than uh. a third movie. Why uh, I think it's a 50 over 50 Oh, I can't you're stretching my butt off. I'd be pretty happy with both. But anyways, why am I pretty confident a meme games could happen? Well, firstly, there's simply the reason that last year stood incredibly well view-wise. So it's a no-brainer from a business standpoint. Second of all, like what the meme games appears to likely be a series that is significant to the channel. In terms of video length and in terms of story significance. Assuming the first meme games is a model for later installments. Thirdly, with any final major episode this year needing to resolve the mystery of Puzzle Vision, meme games would actually suit this purpose incredibly well. Having a character who is all about putting on grandiose shows for entertainment host a game show as big and insane as meme games is very fitting, and obviously we know this series of episodes can be longer than normal episodes and used to resolve story arcs as seen with last year's. Fourthly, if Puzzle Vision doesn't host the show directly, having Mario return as the host for meme games could actually make a lot of so. sense considering the position his character is in at the moment. So my Ruby one back. Episode continues so I have a location. Both Mario and Ratty have not reconciled with SMP. Oh uh, yeah, since they're in prison. Yet over the event After what they did. So I could see Mario and Marty forcing everyone into the meme games again in some sort of possible revenge plot if upcoming episodes in the series build up towards We're something CNC. like this. But probably for next Saturday, the they're gonna be in jail for like baby. Or something like that. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm just coping and the meme games 2023 is never happening? Hmm. Who knows? I'm gonna say who knows. Oh, oh hey Alex Bow. Oh. Tomorrow, guys, Monday after school, I will do a reaction to this. Anyway, so, as I really wanted to say, um, the, um, theory, I hope we get a chance to see meme games. If not, maybe next time. But, um, I could be right that we could get the meme games 2023. I know it's about to be November, of course, and my birthday's in December, it's going to be coming now up soon, and Christmas, of course. But we probably have two more months to see what happens next before SMG4 goes on break again on January. So, um, let's see how that will go. I'm just going to say to see how that will go, for now, and see what happens next. So, that's all I'm going to say. But yeah guys, so tell me what is your thoughts about the meme games and especially the Waffy 2023 theories. Make sure to subscribe to no down below y'all and make sure to subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And as always y'all, I will see you all later. As always y'all, deuces.